okay guys clear today let's uh we will go to uh, discuss on uml diagrams and prototypes in umls we will uh discuss on use case diagram activity and sequence and comes to uh, prototypes balsamic and azure tools okay i will go to uml Guys, you can see my screen. Like MS Visio, Microsoft Visio. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is a Canva. Okay. Here, uh, this tool. Okay. Our COIPD will help you in installation, and there will be a one year of validity for you guys. Okay. There will be a one year of validity, and you can use till one year. Okay. And here you have to select software and database. Okay. And out of these three, select UML diagrams. Okay, so in this active in this uh, MS Visual, you can draw nine diagrams like activity, collaboration, component, deployment, plot, like light line diagrams. Out of this, as a VA, we will focus on three diagrams. Okay, one use case diagram, an activity diagram, and sequence diagram. There are three. Okay, out of three, mainly four, we have to focus on activity and use case diagram. Okay, mainly. A sequence diagram also it's important but uh it's uh, used by developers okay but uh, readable knowledge it's very important readable and good knowledge it's very important for a b okay let's start with use case diagram guys so uh what you understand what do you mean by use case diagram and why we prepare this in which stage we will use this uml diagrams guys in which stage of sdlc we use this as uml <laughs> In the initial stage, while conveying the requirements to the uh, technical team, we use this use case diagram. In the common gathering stage? You're in, saying? In the initial stage, yes. No, no. Anyone? Okay. In the designing phase. Exactly. The third phase. Okay. When it comes to third, the modeling stage, we will say that the document, we are requirement modeling stage. In rock requirement modeling stage, what are the requirement that we gather, okay, in technical language, we can say that to understand for a technical team, okay, by using these tools, we can communicate with the technical team in technical language. So that's why we use this UML diagrams. Okay, guys, in this UML in uh, this MS Visio, okay, we will set for start with use case diagram, and what is all about use case diagram? What is the use of use case diagram? It helps to understand the interaction between user and the use cases, the way right. user can use the system. Very nice. Very nice. It will show the interaction of external actors and the system. Okay. How the actor interact to the system. Okay. See, you can see here, right? If you click on use case, okay, these are the options we can use in use case diagram. Okay. Before starting the use case diagram, previously I said, which one I have to use? Use case, uh, case use case system boundary. System I said boundary. we have to use system boundary. Why we have to use system boundary? Because within this system boundary, we have to graph everything. Yeah, why we can ah, I can graph I can do without system boundary as well. And what is the use of system boundary? To keep the uh, user and exactly system user and, user and use case the system. Very good because then we will get a clear understand. The stakeholder get clear understand what comes under system, okay, and external actors that differ. They can clearly understand. Okay, guys. Previously, I think I take on uh, online food application, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Let's go for the same or let's take different. Different examples, sir. Different examples. Okay. Okay, previously we taken online food application. Okay, let's go for uh, uh, same similar means uh, daily routine means what we use there. Okay, for online application. Okay, means of shopping, online shopping. Let's go for online shopping. That's why means uh, this is uh, who are attending today first session because they will get some clear understanding. 
because uh, someone previously attended, they have some idea means, uh, about user story, means about use case diagram. Because now today who are attended, okay, let I take in so easy one, the daily what we are using in daily routines. Okay, for uh, I take in online shopping. Okay, guys, and what are the main, uh, any five use cases that we can see in online shopping? Five use cases, uh, login. Okay. okay, before that, for example, uh, anyone be a, uh, and one thing I have to say, you all, I already explained it previous only, this all requirements are, we gathered from stakeholders only. Stakeholders. Right? Stakeholders only, based on the stakeholder requirements, I'm going to, okay, model the use case diagram. What are includes, what are extends, what I'm mentioning here, these are all based on the stakeholders. Okay, not by BA owns. Okay, BA won't take ownership that it may be include, it may be an extends or it may be generalization. Okay, based on the client requirement only. Okay, we will draw this use case diagram. Okay, for example, I will take registration first. For, uh, okay, our client said that registration is compulsory for me. Okay, I gave registration part. Okay, guys, uh, in use case also, there are two types of use case. What are the two types? Two types of Essentials use cases. Essentials and supportive. Very nice. But what do you mean by essential? Essentials can be referred to those use cases that directly, that, that mm, focus direct work. Yeah, As essential, like subordinate yeah. and superior. We can oh, explain okay. it like subordinate and superior. Okay, and what is supporting then? Excuse me? What do you mean supporting? Supporting, supporting like items. that helps in the application, but not directly. We can use an alter option for them also. Um, not directly. The indirectly, it should help. Okay, it helps indirectly to the essential. Okay, to complete the functionality of the actors. It, it indirectly helps. This essential use case. Okay, then. Uh, what are the essential means supporting guys? I can give as a uh, anyone anyone become now uh, product owner or a stakeholder means uh, from a stakeholder a client. What are your supporting? I can give for registration. Anyone? Uh, for your name. Means essentially what we can see in registration part when you enter to the registration part for online application. What are the main fields that you can see? Any phone? Name okay. ID. I gave a mobile. name. Uh, mobile number is compulsory. Email, email ID. ID. Email address. Okay. okay. Email. And password. We can also I add a uh, reference. Yeah, refer there are lot many, but simple. I given only. I am giving only example for you guys. Okay, I'm not okay. Com okay, preparing completely. Okay, just I'm giving a overview. Means like how we can work on the use case. Type. Okay, for example, these are the four. Okay, uh, that uh, requirements given by means what you gathered by the requirements from the client. Okay, there are four option. Out of that four option, we have to, and what the next step I have to do here. After drawing this use case means uh, I mentioned use case supporting an essential. Now I have to do one important thing here. What the, what is that? Login. We, have, we have to connect we need the to log in. with names, no. mobile number, email and password. That what we call the relationship. Interface. Yes, relationship. Yeah, we have to, okay, not a relationship. And uh, out of this four, uh, what are includes from your end, what are extends from your end? And first say that what the difference between you includes and extends first. Uh, How do so we include? Includes, includes can be referred as uh, factors that are essential for supportive points, and extends can be referred as uh, factors that help supportive to essentials. Makes sense. Anyone? In this diagram, uh, name, phone number, and password is include because they are mandatory as a yes, and yes, uh, exclude is a email. Is a, this option yes, is a optional. Yes, yeah. yes. You have to okay. Uh, mention this word includes means mandatory fees. 
okay for client it necessary you want okay at any cost you want that options name mobile and password but email is an extend for it extend means optional okay guys ah, okay here i have to use uh draw no relationships for so that's why for includes in use case you can see like a users guys okay there is a name called users okay and uh, arrow should be towards what now users means to uh towards towards the other registration. registration no 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 not towards registration towards, towards includes means towards sub, sub, essential to supporting okay that we call users okay double click and you can change the name called includes there is a name called includes there is no name that there are users okay you can see that users and same for mobile number is essential for my client. In password also is very important. Okay, when it comes to email, you guys said that that is an extent for my client. Okay, like this. And okay, I completed the registration part. Okay, after registration part, it gave an uh, information that requirements for the login. Login is also very essential for it. Okay, less essential use cases. And what are the supporting for guys? You can get, you can give. What are supportings? Username, mobile number, email ID. Hmm. Very good. Supporting. I am giving three based on the client requirements only okay like user id otp password or otp okay lot many will come okay and given three and out of three here what are the in includes extends and the what will you include know? include our user, user ID, ID is users. Hmm? Password is users hmm. and email is extend. Why extend now? This is extend. Because one can log in without even using email ID or password. ID. Yeah. Because why means uh, previously what my stakeholder said email is option for him. Yes. Okay, email is option. <laughs> okay you register you log in and as uh, once you log in means what you will do you will search for product right you will search for or search you will search customer search okay while searching how you will search means what are functionalities comes under when supporting comes for search Any, any three important based on what you guys will search. You guys will search with category product name, yes, product name, category name, price range, exactly, price, then brand, exactly. You will go with a product name or a brand or similar, right. The pin code where the product can be delivered. Yeah, by the location. Yeah. By location. Okay, like this. Uh, three. Okay, this are uh, which relationships will come? Excuse me. Means uh, these are all which relationships includes extends. Uh, excludes. Excludes. Very good. Why excludes? Because we can option, use any of the option also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, extends. Okay, guys. Uh, you searched. Okay, you logged in and you searched. And the next stage, what are important for the you now for the client? Placing order. Placing product. Yeah, means placing order. In placing order, what is the main? Uh, 
Okay, selecting the product. Location. Okay, for example, in search only, I can say that you search it and you add to the cart. Okay, mm -hmm. from add to the cart, what you will do? Make payments, payment yes, authorization. This is very important for the stakeholder. Payment. And here, what are the supporting skies? Uh, UPI ID. UPI option yes. card payment. Debit card payment or the UPI cash payment. You can give cash on delivery. And you can give cards. credit cards. Yeah, cards. I give cards. And you can give UPI. You can make to the UPI. And sometimes you can use coupons. Or, or or valid. Oh, valid. <clears throat> you can use a valid. Okay. And what are these relationships we can? Uh, excludes. Excludes. No. Generalization. Uh, someone said. Generalization. Yeah, very nice. And why generalization? No. Yeah. Uh, in uh, every every use case, it means cash on with uh, cash and cards, UPI, mm -hmm. also having generalization concept is used. Exactly. Right? Because why this is generalization means this is very important stage. Uh, or we can say that yes, you will get confused here. It means it includes extent and generalization. Because extents and generalization or we will draw same direction. Okay, it should be towards payment only. Okay, towards uh, supporting to essential. And if you want to change, that means double click and can see that inherits. We can inherit. Uh, what does it mean by inherits? I didn't understand. Ah, see. In, okay. Here, uh, includes means it's a mandatory. Right. Right. Includes means a mandatory. Yes. And extend means it's an optional Option. for you. Right. Optional. Maybe or may not. Right. Okay. But when it comes to generalization, without mm -hmm. you selecting out of this four option. Okay. You can't go for. Go for further. Next okay. process. Okay, if you, for example, if you give includes for four, four option means you have to pay with cash on delivery, cards, you pay and valid. Includes, mandatory. Okay. If you give like a means option, means extends without paying option, may or may not. You will go okay. for next one. But when I give in the returns, out of four option, you have to choose any one option without okay. fail. Okay, once payment done, guys. Okay, once payment done. And what is the last use case I can give? Product delivery. Sorry, ma. Your, someone is saying something. Uh, sir, what inherits the arrow the direction will be on both sides, ma. No, no, no. It, it should be towards the essential only. Towards the essential. Yeah, so towards the essential means as it is how the for the extents, how it is. Okay. Same. Data should be same, but double click and you have to show with inherits. Inherits. Okay. So we okay, have to double. select inherits. Yeah, inherits. Okay. And here pro last one is product uh, deliver. Okay. So once product deliver, how can we uh, what are the use cases we can give the supporting for them? Delivery commands, locations. Sorry, locations. Deli uh, hmm. Delivery commands. No, no, no. Mm, okay, once, uh, because that comments what you said, well, location wise, all we given in the registration part only. All it is, uh, it is extends for us. Okay, the what you said, okay. Because uh, here in the uh, product delivery also, we can give address, location, like, because they will ask for. Uh, Change the location that is extends for us. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, that is also good. And uh, another one will come once how we confirm that uh, order 
application Okay. Uh, any uh, okay, guys. Uh, what do you mean by actors here? Uh, actor can sorry, customer can be the actor. Uh, uh, specifically, what we can uh, who may be actor? The one who is interacting with yeah. the system. Yes, the users. So, okay, we can say Admin that and customer. Exactly. Yeah, that are uh, okay. In that uh, there are two types. Actors also there are two types. Actors. What are the two types of actors there? Primary and secondary actors. Primary and secondary. Very nice. And who are comes under primary now? Let's see. Who affect who affect the process directly? Yeah. Who involves in the directly? Okay. Who is the first? Who initiates? Customer. I can customer. give customer. Okay. In customer also, I can give two types of customers, guys. What are the customers I can give when it comes to actors? Mm -hmm. Direct and uh, primary and secondary also in customer mm -hmm. also. For example, mm -hmm. is a custom. How can I give customer means new customer? Okay, is new to this application, and he will be the repeat customer be? or the regular customer. customer. Regular customer. Regular. We can see. Okay. Hey. Already existed customer of okay. I can see the existed. Okay, I can say existed customer. Yes, the existed customer. There are two types of customer. Okay, and I will say how we can use that inheritance comes here. Okay, in further. And over the actors will another which actors will come, guys. Here, like every uh, partner companies payment gateway. Packagers. In primary, primary, I am asking primary. In primary, we can say admin will come. Uh, the delivery partners. Okay, okay, Max, we can see only this means uh, use uh, customer and admin, we can see. Yes. Okay, these are two means who involved directly to the application. And what you guys saying that database and someone say FOH, but pay payment. Okay. And a delivery boy, they are the supporting guys, right? They are the supporting gear to help to successfully complete this functionality for the ex Cause means uh, essence means what we can primary actors, okay? Primary actors who involve directly and who supports them. They are supporting actors. Now, you guys said database is a secondary actor. And what will be next? A restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah. Why restaurant? I, this, uh, this is not online shopping. shopping. This is online shopping. Mm. Oh, sorry. Shopkeepers or we can say the brand brand dispensers. Okay. I will give now FOH. Okay. Finance clear house will come. Okay. FOH. So and what is the full form of FOH? The financial laws of clear, I means the financial clearing for if you have any make payment options, FOH team will come. Oh, financial. Okay, simply I can give the third parties. We can give the third parties if you are using UPI or bank in a card, guys. Okay, they, there will be third parties, guys, right? Right, like uh, third parties application Google Pay, Phone Pay, 
Again, okay. we can mention the third parties. And finally, I can give a delivery point. Okay. He is also supporting. He is very important in supporting. Then what is mean by DB? Database. Database. Okay. Delivery board. Okay, I, uh, these are the, uh, these guys are the uh, actors who are involved in our application, the process guys. Uh, now I have to communicate. Right. Once I uh, draw this, communication is very important. How I have to go with the communication? How to, how to communicate means, see there is a communication line here. Okay, you can see the straight line and you can communicate with new user to like this. Okay, you have to communicate with actor to the use cases. And it should be and to use case only guys. Okay, it is professional. You should go, don't go with, uh, you, you should not connect to head or legs anywhere. It should be and to use case only. Okay, that is a professional way. And you can re register. Okay, customer can log in. Customer can search. Yeah, you can search. And you can make payments. Make payment. And you can get this product delivered. Mm -hmm. Okay. And existing user. Okay. Existed user, I said here. Customer. It is a customer. Yeah, here, what, a on, sorry. yeah no. what is a uh, what is a uh, functionality is the both that differ between these two? Uh, for the existing customer, they need, they don't need to register again. Yeah, you can go with the directly login. login. Yes. So that's why now what I am doing for him. Okay, I don't again communicate from scratch. Means again communication. So that's why I am using generalization. Got we call inherits. Why I am using inherits here? Anyone have any means who attended previous session? <laughs> Why Sir, because uh, that it is not necessary for an coexisting customer or previous customer to register register once again, but he can log in and he can search and he can convey all exactly. the process once again. Exactly. Because why means already this is a parent. For example, he is a parent and he is a child of a parent. Okay, what he was doing, the properties that we can that uh properties of new customer and existing also you can do you can without register that's all okay he won't register but he can log in okay he, he can, he can research he can yes. make payment and he can go for product delivery okay like this so that's why i given in it simply okay when it comes to admit here also i can give gen uh, generalization for it in some rare cases, you can do all things. We have search option. Okay. You can't do search here. Admin, as a search, as admin, you can't search. But uh, when it comes to admin module, okay, when we are creating, uh, because what I, I previously said, I am not using all use cases. Main use cases I take on here. When it comes to admin module, okay, we have search option, use case, I can give add catalog. Right, add product catalog can come. Okay, As again, I am giving inner rich here. Why I am giving inner rich means he can also register, he can also log into the application, but he can't search. Okay, while explaining, we can explain like this. Okay, while giving presentation to the stakeholder, we can say, okay, he can't search, but he can know the payment status and you can know the order status. Okay, so that's why I given inheritance. And when it comes to DB, okay, for uh, secondary, means uh, the secondary actors. Excuse me, sir. Supporting actors. Uh, yeah. Sir, you just said that uh, the admin, he can add an option like catalog. Okay, catalog yeah. Where that search engine is. Sir, mm -hmm. but, uh, you didn't show us how he yeah, yeah. Do that. here i didn't get I, yeah i didn't show that but you can add that that use cases okay into this you can add okay this use sir, case also guys you can draw based on the actors also 
what what is the use case for uh, actor means customer what is the use case for uh, admin okay based on that also you can draw and with uh, come to means you can uh, draw together as well means both actors and use case but it will take more long page okay you can add that that use case uh, after search button after search option or before search option you can add that like uh, add catalog okay if you add that add catalog means you can communicate to that separately got my my point no sir see here. no sir ah see here admin is there okay i didn't yes. give that option called add to uh, add, add catalog to the product means add yes, uh, okay product catalog here you can add that one use case in the system yes sir okay you can add that okay for example i will add here you will get then clarify product okay you can add product okay here add product i can i want to give some supporting for that okay what kind of product you can add in shopping for example clothes. yeah for example you have clothes groceries yeah groceries that is included types groceries then daily any... essentials yeah, daily essentials okay okay and okay and which generation means uh, sorry which uh, relationships can i give you extend extends very nice very extensive because he can add or uh, it is secondary for him. It's not compulsory that daily you have to uh, add that. Okay, extends. Maybe or may not. For extends, I given. Okay, I given generalization here. Like, uh, why I given generalization? He can also register. Okay, admin also register. Admin also login. But he won't search. Be of search, what he will do means? He will, he will add product. Add a product. <laughs> okay, I can only draw this because all are same right all are similar based on the parent yes okay now i separately yeah so now separately draw that this is a child okay these are the child you can get, say okay clear now yeah please mute now And now when it comes to secondary actor, data, I want to connect this database to all. Right? I want particular data of registration, data, login, search, making payment. Okay, and add to catalog I given here. Okay, this is not required. And uh, add to catalog, it should be transfer. Database. And last Guys, all should be linked, it means communicate to the database because all the information will be stored in database. So that's why given. When it comes to FOH, I can only give for the making payment. Yes. Okay, only the payment part. Okay, and when it comes Excuse to me, sir? yeah. Uh we can use as a generalization concept with relationship between customer or uh, uh, database management. No, generation it can't not because yeah, that is secondary actor. They're secondary yes, yes, actor. Yes, 
Okay, when it comes to secondary actor for this, you can generalize. Okay. Okay, but they are the uh, primary. Okay, like we can't do that. That's the one. And when it comes to uh, delivery boy, where we can connect guys? Uh, no, every option. Because every delivery option. partner will register in the site, log in his details. He won't search, he won't make payments, but he will go for okay, product. I will details. give him. Okay, I will give to database. Okay, for database, I can't give directly on uh, what database is doing. For actors, I can't give, right? Yes. Okay, so that's why I am giving here. He can log in. Right, that he can also register. You want to register. After that, he can log, log in. in. He, he won't, won't search. search. He won't search. He won't make payments. But make he won't payment okay mm -hmm. and he will comes under product delivery part while delivering and he will yes. come in one essential part where that out of this file he, uh, he will delivery play, product delivery product he, del in product delivery yeah i already i mentioned product delivery where he okay. will come already I mentioned login also i mentioned see payment where, in payment where uh, cash on cash, cash in. on COD cash, cash on delivery exactly. exactly making payment part it will comes to cash on uh -huh. delivery okay, okay. If, if he plays a main role in cash on delivery okay to success that okay like this uh, he will he is supporting see he is supporting here who involved directly a customer involved directly in making payment okay when it comes to cash on delivery he supports to the application so that's why it comes in the support. Yes. Okay, guys. Like this, you guys will use this uh, use case diagram, guys. Sir, I have, I have a small doubt. Um, Sir, the delivery partner will only be applicable in making payments uh, use case diagram when uh, mm -hmm. the buyer or the customer will choose uh, pay, paying doing paying through cash, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so why didn't we directly uh, connected that extend line from a delivery partner to cash on hand option use case yes here you're saying you can directly add to the cash yes sir because yeah. if we will connect you to can... making payment then it can it mm. can go for all the four options like cards upi wallet or cod yeah, yeah, yeah. here also yeah you can directly give to the uh directly to the cash on the cod also or you can give to the making payment by uh, all is uh, explaining guys why how you are going to explain to the stakeholder okay, yes, because sir, that's if, why I'm asking. Uh, yeah yeah you can give you can give man. you can give to the direct uh, state uh, to the supporting as well. to supporting also you can give. No sir, but you connected to making payment if by mistake or by no 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 somehow no. we do this in future like we connected to making payments use case will that diagram be fine yeah, you can connect to the use case because this is a part of making payment. Yes. Okay, this is a part of making payment. Sometimes what happens, UPI. Okay, yes. they will say you guys, I will make payment. Uh, okay, cash on delivery. When you enter to the doorstep, they can make through yes. UPI, they can make through car, or make they can make to cash on delivery. You don't yes. know until you reach there. Yes. Okay, at that time, you can use making payment. So, so how we will exclude wallet at that time? Which, yeah, I am saying right because I am saying you can use cash on delivery. You are clicking the cash on delivery option, guys. Okay. Yes. While while ordering, you are giving cash on delivery option. When you enter to the this boy, the delivery boy enters to the doorstep. Okay. He can yes. give a cash. He can okay swipe a card. He can use UPI or through the wallet also you can deliver it that means you can make a payment okay sir. There, there is option for it okay sir, got that, it. Is, that is clearly option so that's why i i mark everything okay like this the scenarios so, um because if you draw like this also they can understand startingly you have to explain them you have to give presentation why you present means you mentioned includes extend or generalization clearly you have to give a explanation for them. then only they can get okay like this you will create the use case diagram in real time as well 
and when it comes to caption project okay and upcoming you will work on caption project and you will okay train on uh, the tools guys okay you will real time you will work on the application means like uh, these tools based on one case study okay guys this is all about use case diagram clear guys yes sir. okay let's go for activity now okay guys if you want to add another page okay the same another page means there is a use case here right click okay and insert a page so one thing here uh, mm -hmm. said so why can't you inherit delivery boy to database in secondary secondary part uh, we can't uh, deliver it uh, to the database okay because why means database uh, is separate right because database we can't uh, say that we can't connect them as well to database but, the actors but, we can if it is if it is an actor means we can okay is a user if, in, yeah we can actor in primary case only we use that inherent yeah in primary no secondary also you can but okay. is a second okay in any secondary person will involve okay we can okay add them but we can't add to the database for example when it mm -hmm. comes to okay the actors may be changed guys not in every time db won't come at the secondary only okay based on the project based on the scenario he may be a primary actor okay for example if you're creating a database mm -hmm. okay means for if you're working on any db or use cases database schema okay if you work on database schema then db become a primary actor okay db become a primary actor Okay. Okay, guys. Now I will work on active. Okay, I will show the activity. Mm. Again, I will take the same scenario, guys. Okay, then you will get an idea. Activity table. Okay, so, uh, what is it on why we prepare activity diagram? What is all about activity diagram? Activity diagram shows the flows of the system from the back end part. Exactly what is this. Okay. And what is the difference between activity and use case? <clears throat> Sir, use uh, use case shows how the processing or the activity will go. But mm -hmm. uh, activity diagram only shows the back end processor of the app. It is not visible for customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, and one thing when it comes to activity diagram, here you guys have to focus on mainly three concepts. Okay, one is decision box when we have to use decision box, second, branch and merge when we have to use branch and merge, and third part is fork and join. Okay, decision box, branch and merge, and fork and join. Three, these three are very important for you guys. Okay, these three are very, very important for you. What okay. was the third one, sir? Fork and join. Okay, I will explain it. What do you mean? Fork and join, how we use that. Okay. okay. For example, okay, let's start. Okay, every time, okay, when you're going to start that activity diagram is start with start node or initial state. There we will call initial state. Okay, I will I am taking an example for decision box, guys. Okay, now I'm taking okay. a scenario decision box when we will use the decision box any idea when we use this decision box no sir. when we yes. have conditions. Same condition can be changed which validating condition it whether it is yes or no exactly yeah validating yes, condition okay. yeah in validating condition yes or no you can say validating yes or no condition okay i'm taking an action state here for I want to log in. Otherwise, I can say uh, I want I enter. Log in. Login credentials. Enter login credentials. One. Ah. Uh, we can relate that uh, like uh, activity diagram, use case diagram as a concept of abstraction and encapsulation. Sorry, ma. Uh, can we relate uh, like uh, 
uh, example of use case diagram and activity diagram with the relationship with the uh, like uh, encapsulation concept and inherent uh, sorry uh, abstraction concept no 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 not like that any abstraction encapsulations what do you mean okay what do you uh-huh. relating the concept like that it means, okay, okay. It means uh-huh. use case diagram means abstraction like overview of a means uh-huh. hiding some the data okay, and okay. Uh, encapsulation means in details uh, what are the flows and how to Uh, activities done exactly. by the backend. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, like that we will see. Yes, it is a right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can say that. Yes, sir. thank you. Okay, see here. The action state is what for me. I want. I enter login credentials. Means you enter your user ID and password. Okay. After enter user ID and password, then the decision box will come. Okay. Decision box will come. It this is a easy flow, guys. Means the basic flow. Once your here it will check the validate here it is validating your credentials whether it is yes. The final state will be successfully. Lock it, and the flow will stop. So it is a final state. Successfully login. This is yes condition. Means the easy flow, the basic flow. Once your record credentials is wrong, okay, credentials when validating your credentials are wrong means again the flow. What happens? It go back. Here we have to give guard condition, right? Okay. Now I have to so give. So what guard. is this guard condition? Guard condition means see, I will say the double click here, okay, and you can give a guard here. Yes sir, no condition. I said okay, okay. This is no condition. When it is no, it's go back. You are giving a guard condition. Is yes. The double click. If it is yes means okay, it will come. You successfully log in, and your activity will be stopped there. Okay, just I'm taking act means login. Okay, in this scenario, okay, where the validating whenever in your activity diagram while drawing whenever activity in activity diagram validated validation part will come. Use the decision box. Okay, this is very very important. Okay, clear. Decision box is validating process. You have to use this. So when okay, uh, this is clear for you, right? Uh, And I am using now branch and merge, guys. So when we use this branch and merge, this is another scenario. Okay, another example for you. Branch and merge. In which scenario I can use branch and merge? Okay, based on this use case only, we will go. Okay, see here in this use case diagram where I can use branch and merge. Uh. For the payments. Okay, payments one. Another one. Sorry, login. When the login. There is various option. Yeah, login. Okay. Login. Card. Mm-hmm. Delivery as well. Mm-hmm. Product, product delivery SMS and email one. Yeah, add add product catalog. If I want to add product, there is option for me. Right. Okay. When comes to branch and merge, this is all about. Our condition, guys. When we have an options, okay. When we have an options called our condition, okay. When in comes to our condition, we use this branch and merge. For example, I am taking which I can take, guys, from here. You only. I will take that. Which one will come? Making payment will come. Add product catalog will come. Okay. The search option will come. Okay, so that's why I am taking an example card. Add product. Okay, add product. Our condition. And again, flow. Okay, guys, so I am using this. One. Okay, guys, this is not a decision box. Then what is this? Connector, 
connector this is a connect okay because i want to connect right there options form that's why i have to connect so that's why i'm using connect okay i have an option Okay, what are the three options that I given here? Clothes, groceries, and daily essentials. Okay, I can give the same here for the difference. Clothes. Daily essentials. Copy right selection. Daily essentials. What another one? Clothes, uh, daily essentials, essential. and groceries. 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 Okay, beauty, control flow. Yes, I branch it here. Okay, I branch it. Now I want to merge. Again, I'm taking this is a connector, guys. Once again, I'm taking a connector. Okay, I branch it and I merge it. And this is a connector after the is connecting okay and this is what is guys what is this Sorry. decision box or what this one And this is a decision box case. Okay. I connected with the connectors and decision box. Why I'm using decision box here? If it is added successfully, then we can stop. Yeah. Otherwise, we can go again is, back yeah. to that. Yeah. If there is any mistake, okay, or no condition will come. The validation. It will go back to the The R condition base. Okay. And yes, sir, why you have not uh, why you have not connected this uh, daily essentials like you have connected the clothes and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, groceries? Yeah, you, you have to connect that. Okay, you have to connect. We have to connect it. Yeah, you have to connect it. Okay, like this. Uh, sir, okay, this, uh, a small doubt. Uh, so here you showed uh, three of the process. But then, if if we have more than three, then how can we show it? Like, yeah, you where can. to connect actually? See, if you have more means, for example, see, I connected only three here. If you have more means, add, keep on adding here. Okay. You keep an order. Add. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Once it is final state is successfully. 
added and you can stop the flow this stop flow will be stop file stop okay this is all about our condition guys means branch in one in branch in one we will use our condition in sr no condition validating condition we use a decision box okay the fork engine okay let's go for fork engine okay again i am inserting one on the page Fork and join. For fork and join, again I am taking. Okay, when we use this fork and join, guys, it is for our condition itself. It comes to fork and join. And condition. Yeah, and condition means any scenario. What we can say for and condition? When two three processes go diagonally. Exactly. Parallel. Yeah, parallel. Parallel. Parallelly, then we make it say the action state is for example, uh, your product delivered, guys. The okay, product, the product delivered, and what are the actions parallel you can see? So, I'm Email, using SMS, exactly. Very good. See, I'm using. Okay, like two. I have two, right? I can state like uh, SMS. No, you can notify through SMS. No, I means SMS will parallelly will come and email as well. Email notification. And sometimes if you have OTP, okay, you can add OTP as well. Yeah. Like that, keep on adding. Okay, in our scenario, I have only two. Okay, so that's why I'm using this two. Okay, I fork. Okay, fork and I want to join. Okay, fork means one to many. Okay, join means many to one. I'm joining many to one. Okay, joining many to again. Okay. Successfully, and the flow will stop. Okay, the flow will stop, guys. Okay, this is and condition it means parallelly when you are doing uh, the functionality is going behind the process. Okay, that we call fork engine. There we will use fork engine this parallelly. And when it comes to our condition, branch and merge. Okay, optional. When we are on options, then there we will use our condition. Okay, and when it comes to email means uh, Decision box, here yeah, we can use decision box, means yes or no conditions. Guys, this is all about uh, use case and activity diagram. You guys, you clear about this too? Now I will show uh, the act I mean, sequence diagram. Uh, sir, a small question. Yeah. So anything that we do, like order or add something, then that will be uh, added to the database database as well simultaneously. Yeah. So do we need to show that as well? No, here we can't show that. Okay, as automatic yeah. function, we are testing okay. yeah. that yeah. allow user to record yeah. and play user interferes. Yeah, we can't show that uh, database directly, okay. right? User okay. interferes or interaction as a test script. Static engine is the okay. process of collecting information. Uh, Prashant, you're saying but something? Yes, strategy. Hello. Truth false. In truth, the business need might replace the business case. Which type of study is carried out right once when a company need has been noticed? At the beginning of the project, a stakeholder? At, uh... What question? I can't get you. 
Please come again. Okay. That is clear. Activity and use case diagram. Now I will show the use means sequence diagram. Okay. Clear right? Use case and activity. I will show the sequence diagram. Before that, I will show one slide for you. Wait, just a minute. You guys can see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The sequence diagram. And what the difference between a uh, sequence diagram and activity and use cases? You know, the use case is uh, it will show the interaction between act external actors and the system. And the activity show the flow of the system. When it comes to sequence diagram, it will show the interaction between objects and the actors. Okay, object and the actors. For example, mm. uh, okay, and before that, uh, and these diagrams are used by software developers, guys, and business professionals to understand the requirements for a new system. Mm -hmm. New system is already you guys have an existing one. For example, if you, you have your own object, you are working on that object. Okay, there is one product for you. Okay, if you want to understand it and if you want to add any new add, you have to enhance. Uh, particular object means then you will use this sequence diagram means what is the flow of the system a flow of that object how the actor interacts with the system what is the process to know the process okay we will draw this sequence diagram okay for example we given atm transaction space okay atm transaction reference diagram for here okay once you enter to the atm guys there what is an object for you Withdraw cash. Object. I'm talking about what is an object. ATM machine. ATM yeah. machine. ATM machine is an object for you, right? Okay. When you enter to the object, okay, into the object, how you means the actor and the object called ATM interacts together. For example, see, there is an ATM. You as a user, once you enter to the ATM, ATM, how you it will interact to first. It will display the main screen for you. Right. It will display main screen for you. And how you interact and response and how your response will be, you will insert a card. After that, it will request for a password. Then what you will do, you will enter a password. Okay. Once you entered a password to the ATM, the concern team, what it will do? The ATM will again connect to the another object called concern team. The concern team, what it will do, it will verify your account. See how the objects are correlated here, means related, means in interacting. You I means user interacting to the ATM and ATM again interacting to the another object called concerned to verify your account, whether it is a good account or bad account. Then consortium, what it will do, it will another object called bank here. Okay, it will okay, means uh, interacting to the bank that verifying that your bank account, that whether it is a good bank or bad bank means good bank means whether it is still running or not bad means it is blocked or not first we have to check that then for example if your card there will be a card card expired or not okay 
the bank will verify that once okay once verify your account is bad for example your account is bad means it will send a message that your account is bad means bad account message to the concern term concern term what it will do it will send a bad account message to the atm then the atm object the atm object what it will display to the user that your account is bad okay it may be a card means expired card or your chip may not working okay or your bank account may be blocked okay whatever it will send a message for you then what you it will do me, uh, it, uh, so what's the difference um in between atm and bank the consortium right the, the consortium is the verifying a uh, third parties we can say okay between bank and consortium it will be there okay when you enter to the machine the card okay it's read your card okay the consortium object will be there in atm okay it will read your card then it will send a message to the bank okay ATM, in atm there is an object okay. consortium okay it will send Sorry. a message to the bank okay when you got a bad account message means then what uh, atm what it will do it will generate a receipt for it means based on the scenario whether it is a good or bad account means for example if account is dormant if it is not used from a long time mm -hmm. so uh, bank will give a message that account yeah. is dormant yeah bad account bad means bank will directly can't give the atm because there's a concern term right it will the object this is also an object here mm -hmm. okay atm an object it will interact here bank interact with the consortium and consortium interact to the atm object okay then atm what it will display that is a bad account based on the scenario you will get your receipt right you will get your receipt and it will reject your card and it will it will take the it will I mean, say that please take your card means it will request to take a card and you will take that card and again that same display will be uh the main display the screen for you the screen will be displayed for you. Okay, this is how the user interact to the object or actors how actor and object interact. It will show clearly in sequence diagram. Okay, it's clear about the sequence diagram. And for example, if you want to draw, means how to draw that sequence diagram is. See. Mm. Okay. Adding another page in. Sequence. See guys, that object you guys see there, saw there, right? that is an object. See here, this is an object. I can use an object I'm copying the same. And when you enter to the ATM, for example, I want to rename this is a user. Double click and change ATM. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the message. What the message you can see? Like uh, double click, display, main screen. Then it will. Set a card, you will insert a card. Okay, once you insert a card, there will be validation, right? And it will go for the validation, for example, it will verify to the 
Once you enter to the car, it will verify. Verify car. Okay. Once verify that card means again consult. See guys, your there is a verification. Okay, in verification, this will come this activation. So we will put this activation once in verification. While verifying your card, the consortium say that, okay, that your card is not good. Means your card is expired. For example, your card is expired. Here only you will get an information that that message will return for you. That what message? Invalid card. Okay, invalid card. Then again, what the message will come for? What you will do? The display will display that invalid card. And what it will display? Uh, it will share that and uh, it will it will print receipt. After receive a print, it will request to take your card. Okay, request to take card. After that, what you will do? you will take a card then again um, main screen will be display for you display main screen this like this we will draw uh use case uh, this uh, sequence diagram this okay and this is used by developers Okay, they know the process means they know the clearly how the object interacts to the means actor, how actor and objects are interaction interaction between them. But they clearly explain here like using these diagrams. But as a BA, we should have good readable knowledge here in sequence diagram. That is clear. See, let's see please clear guys about the uml diagrams activity use case and sequence diagram okay and uh, there is pending of this okay this is over and let's talk about prototypes means uh, for prototypes we are using these two guys balsamic and azure Okay, there are two tools still more. Okay, guys, let's discuss now on Balsamic and Azure. Okay. Okay, guys, let's take uh, 15 minutes break. Then let's continue on these two tools. 10 to 15 okay. minutes. Okay. Let's start at sharp uh, now 9.25. Okay, around 9.40, guys. Okay, at sharp Sorry. 940. Ah, oh, no. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, wish. Hey, asking something, someone needs a question. Huh? Okay, let's start at sharp 940. Okay, let's meet on it.
guys okay. here uh, you guys clear on uml type uml and so there we discuss use case activity and statement okay there are two tools guys still balsamic and azure okay where we use these two tools means for prototyping or for mockups for example okay by using these two tools guys we will prepare wireframes mockups and prototypes okay first let's know what to mean with wireframes guys any idea when we use this wireframes what do you mean by wireframes what do you mean by wireframes for designing low level yeah designing low level of system system you can say that screens and pages or the requirements okay the what the requirements we gather from the clients or the stakeholders okay we have to show means uh, where we have to keep that requirements in your portal or in your application so that's why we will prepare some screens and pages okay wireframes when we use this wireframes it means a ba okay you won't waste his time okay you won't waste his time so that's why he use on paper and pen guys just he will use paper and pen just he will give a blueprint of okay blueprint of screens and pages okay blueprint of screens and pages that we call wireframes okay and it's drawn by ba only a blueprint and when it comes to mockups mockups means advanced advanced of wireframes means here they will add some color and shapes okay they will add some colors and shapes to that blueprint to that blueprint they will add some colors and shapes and here they will involve of ui ux team called ui ux design team and here they will take help of ba okay they will take help of ba to make mockups or some rare cases ba only will prepare mockups by using these tools balsamic and azure okay when it comes to prototypes prototypes or combination of mockups means the what that you designed by using ui ux team and with the help of ba okay in prototypes there will be a addition of back end guys okay they will add using a back end okay like coding okay they will add some coding and front end developers will involved here okay with the back end uh, with the help of front end and back end developers they will prepare prototypes means complete application okay complete application we call prototypes with help of developers okay with the help of developers okay with the help of front end and back end developers okay they will prepare these prototypes wireframes only the blueprint of screens and pages we will prepare okay by using paper and pencil or pen okay without wasting a time when it comes to mock up here mockups are advanced of the mockups means wireframes the wireframes what we prepared in by blueprint here we will add some colors to the shapes by, by using a help of ui ux team or ba will draw means make this mockups by using this these tools you know based on the organization it may be change your roles and prototypes prototypes are designed by okay using uh, front end and back end coding okay developers will develop the complete application what we call prototypes and these are the three uh, we have to uh, know 
what is the difference between these three? Means wire frames, mock ups, and product ups. Please let's uh, jump to the tool now. Then now I will use uh, Balsam first. Okay, you guys can see my screen, guys. This is a balsamic. Yeah, you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and this is a balsamic canvas, guys. Okay, this is a canvas of uh, or balsamic. See here, mm, what is the use of? I already said this tool is used for mockups or wire frames. Okay, means wire frames we won't use because for wire frames we are using the uh, paper and pen. Okay, they will prepare that mockups means wire frames when it comes to mockups they will prefer these two tools balsamic or adhesive okay balsamic nowadays they are not using more much when it comes to today's they are using azure guys okay you mainly you guys focus on the azure okay and i will say the first i will say the difference between azure and balsamic for you when it comes to balsamic here there is no properly we can navigate the screens okay here we navigate the screens but navigation we can't enter a data or enter a text okay we can't enter a text input here but in azure we can enter a dummy data clearly when it comes to graphical representation it is uh, azure is more better than balsamic okay more better than balsamic and when it comes to i said it will show the realistic application when it comes to azure it will show the it will you feel by using that application you feel that it is a real application okay like it will feels for you when it comes to azure it is not means balsamic it is not present it is not a good presentative okay, that is the difference between so that's why nowadays uh, the organization is using more azure compared to balsamic Okay, uh, I will show uh, you know why I am using this balsamic to prepare some screens and pages. Only to prepare some screens and pages. For example, I will take uh, the same online application, means online of okay, shopping. Same if I want to create, for example, guys, if you are using see, these are the widgets, you can see the shapes. Okay, the widgets or shapes, we can see which one you want like button option okay button bar or charge okay, whatever you want the text option will be there okay what are the features that we can see in our application okay almost will be there like icon images okay this is ipad if you want a link there is a link option okay list there will be list guys all you can see in this widgets the shapes Okay, now I am preparing this web application. For example, I am preparing a web application. So that's why I'm taking a browser. If you are creating mobile application, there is an option of mobile here. Okay, you can select any iPad or mobile. Okay, this is a drag and drop tool, guys. Drag and drop. Okay, if you want uh, search quickly, if you want any specific quick limits, there is an option for quick add here. Okay, you can pick as soon as possible. Okay, pick. Okay, now I'm creating a web application. Okay, I'm giving a name. Double click here and give a name. Sir, unable to say anything. Only a page is showing like a Google. Yes, that's sir. it. The so your screen seems to be free statue. Okay, okay. No activity free. was visible. Okay. Okay, now you can see, right? And now you can see. See, there is a quick uh, 
I said, so this is a guys, the shapes, what are the shapes you want? Okay, you can get here from here. Or widgets, we, what we said, the widgets here, see from here. And if you want quick set, if you want quick means there is a quick add here. Okay, you can select from here. Uh, now I am using a browser. So that's why I'm, I'm creating a web, web application. Web application means I'm taking a browser. For example, I'm creating only shop. So, okay, first I will create, for example, uh, we have to show for a client the how the login page looks like, for example. Okay, I will take now text. I want text. So that's why I will, okay, quick search text. You can take, double click. Okay, remove it. You can give login page. And if you want to resize also, you can resize the font 20. If you want the bold, then you can change the font color. Okay, and you can drag and drop. Okay, and you can see a blue line here. And it will show the alignment base. Okay, the alignment where you want is center alignment and give to the center. Okay, after login, I want user, I want to mention user ID and password. So that's why again I want text. So that's why I'm same copying this one. Okay, I'm same copying the same for user ID. Password. See the alignment like this and I want to resize to 14. You can resize. If you want to change the color, I can change. Okay. I end. These are the text. I want to input here. I mean text input. So that's why I'm texting here. Text input. Okay. There is a text input. I'm taking text input. Okay. I want a link because after if they forget a link, I'm taking a link. A link will come right here. Forget password. Forget password. And I want one button. But submit button. Okay, this is sample how a uh, login page looks like. Okay, or if you are register means your application. Okay, you, you can show this to your client like this. And I want next another if you want to add this control n. Okay, you click here control n. You can add here. And same, I'm copying this one. The home page, for example, how it looks like. Example, home page. Okay. Uh, just a home page, and how it looks like. For example, a home page, how it looks like. Uh, See here, you're creating mockups, right? Means mockups means uh, you're adding some colors and shapes here. Uh, for example, in product, I want some. So here, what I will do, I want some uh, page. Uh, uh pictures so for the pictures what i will do i will go to google okay i mean i will select some uh, in products products in amazon for example what are products we can see the images we'll go to images like this
take part from the details. For example, this is one product. I'm copying the image. Okay, and pasting it. This image. So two images, and I want, for example, I want to text the. Yes, I want to give you like a ABC product. Okay, the price of the product. Price maybe um, five dollars, for example. Like this, I am copying the same for this one. And I want um, card icon. Symbol will be there, and uh, what icon you can see like profile. This. So, and here only you can give this option card. From here only you can add to the card. Okay. Our text will be there. Like buy from buy buy now. Okay. I'm underlining the. If they want me directly, they can buy like this for sa a sample guys. The sample home page of it looks like I given, and I will add another one. Called mm. this is uh, for you can give a card page. I'm selecting this two. Of the base I want now. I can take the radio button. Why oh, am yeah, giving radio button, guys? Here. Yeah. If I am giving radio button, any idea? For a particular or multiple choice. Which one I want? Okay, I can select one or I can select two. It means in from card card page. I already added to like that. And after that, I want to give one button. For example, uh, okay, buy now. Or uh, proceed to pick. Proceed to.
okay like this uh, you guys will go keep on creating pages guys okay for example uh, after this page what page will come payment page for example i give payment page like this, like this you guys will keep on going means creating means how the application the screens and pages look like okay once creating the screens and pages you have to link right you have to create a link means the navigation navigation i will show how you, you can give a navigation here please once you click on submit button in home page in a login page it should be redirected to the home page format this is a process for me for example okay click on submit button okay in right side you can see a links right see here, links okay you can select which page it should be redirect if i click on submit it should be redirect to the home page so that's why i created a link here like this you can see the link and for second if you click here it will automate means the back end it will redirect to the means it will add it to the card page now I want to view the card page. How can I view? If I click here, it should be redirected to the card page format. So that's why I'm again creating a link here. See, there is a link. Card page with third, third one is a card page format. Okay, link is created. And I'm going to the card page now. Okay. In card page, okay, I select one or two means I, if i want means i will select one item if i want two item i will select two item if i click on proceed to pay it should be redirected to the payment page okay i just given a payment page here okay here based on the uh, requirement the page will be comes next okay and now i created some four pages here means the mockups now i will show you how you can run means how we can present here see here there is a option here control you can click the control f otherwise you can click this button called full screen presentation means if you want to present or if you want to show the navigation of the screen means you can click here okay, once you click it will open see here the what a disadvantage here means see it will show like this it not like a real time application or we can't feel like this when it comes to Azure, it feels that it is a real-time application for you. Okay, here you can't add any text or input guys. So that, that is one, uh, you can see the disadvantages in Balsamic. Okay, when it comes to Azure, there you can enter the inputs. See, once you enter the inputs and password, this is only for presentation. Okay, how you are going to give presentation to a stakeholder. Okay, once you can enter a password and email id user id once you click on submit button it will redirect to the home page see how it redirect to the home page okay by clicking this you added uh, this uh, item to the cart now you want to see the cart page how you can see the cart page just click on cart page it will redirect to the cart page okay there you can okay select anyone see here i can't uh select here when it comes to balsamic that is one disadvantage i can't show uh, a clear presentation to the stakeholders just i can say if you select any one option and if you click on proceed to pay it will lead out to the payment page it's like this we will use this balsamic okay and uh, we are not using more balsamic guys beyond that we are using azure okay and another there are more options here means in uh, if you want to save this the project what you prepare what you made if you want to share these screens and pages means there is an option here see there is an option export or you can save as well okay you can save your control s okay you can give any name and you can save okay click on save you can save that and if you want to export 
the screens and pages what you prepared here the screens is all screens is you can export by export option okay to the if you want only current pdf means current only one png or you want all mockups to the png or if you want to convert to the pdf there is an option for convert to pdf if you click on that okay if you want all mockups or current mockups or you can set manually which one you want okay this is a customized one you can which one you want i want all means okay you can select all mockups and export pdf okay if you click on export pdf the project will be export guys see you can see my see the all i exported to the pdf and you can share this uh, pdf to your clients or your relevant stakeholders and you guys can discuss more on that okay so like this we will use this balsamic that is clear about the balsamic this is all about how we are going to design screens and pages Right, dummy, we can say that dummy application. We are preparing a dummy application to take approval from our clients. Clear, guys, about balsamic? Have any doubts here? Let's go for Azure now. A similar tool. It is also a similar easy tool, but it is advanced, guys. Compared to balsamic, it is more advanced. Okay, guys, let's go for Azure. Clear? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go for Azure. Okay, this is the Azure RP 7.0, the tool what we are going to install in our PC. Oh, yes. See, this is a canva of our uh, Azure RP 7.2. Okay, here you can see the skip pages. Means here by clicking this, you can add, keep on going, add the pages. Means what, how many screens and pages you are creating, you can create. Okay, then there is an option for here also you can save and you can open that previously if you are working, worked on any project, means you can open by here as well. Okay, these are the projects that I worked previously. Okay, I can open from here. There is an option for click option. It will, it will open, redirect to the files page. From here also, I can open my files. And these are the recently I worked projects. And you can save, you can save as. And here also, you can import to your RP files. Okay, you can import your RP files. And here also, there is an option to export your all pages to the images. Okay, there is a no option for PDF converter. Okay, here you can convert into the images. Okay, create one folder and all pages should can be stored in that folder. Okay, I will show you later. Okay, so let's start uh, same as it is. Uh, here, come, I already said, there you can see the more widgets. For example, see here. Here you can see more options or shapes we can say. But when it comes to actual, here there are less guys because it is very professional. It will look very professional. So that's why they are not given more options or widgets for you. See, so widgets, they are very less. And I will, I, will, I will explain how you guys going to use this widgets. Okay. For example, I am taking a sample for you. Like how it looks, the screen, how it looks like. Okay, the screen I'm taking. Okay, now I want to uh like uh, add an editing. If I if you are going to add an editing means take editing one. Okay, for example, this is a login page. This is a login page. If you want to change the font color, also you can change here, guys. See above. Okay, you can change the font color. If you want to change the font size as well, you can change here. 
Good for the season. Okay. And if you want a uh, uh, background color, if you want to add a background color as well, light color, you can add. Okay. And now I want text. Okay. There is a text option. Here there is no text option. Beyond that, we can see the label. Okay. You can see the label. I am taking a label. Double click. You can give user ID. Same copy for the password. I want to resize this and I'm making bold. And if you want me, so you can change the color. Change the color. Okay. Now I want to in it means enter input. To enter inputs, there you will see text input. But here you guys can see text field. Okay. If the name changes to the text field. Okay. I'm copying the same to password. Okay. Now I am giving a button. You can see a button called HTML button. Or submit button. Okay. There is normal submit. This is a sample. I am prepared for a home page. This is a uh, sorry, login page. This is a sample login page. I want to prepare home page. For example, double click and you can rename here. If you want to rename for the home page. And you can rename this to the login page. And double click and take the same rectangle. Yeah, I'm taking rectangle as a screen for your reference. Horizontal, I'm taking an horizontal line. Okay. And I want to add logo here. If you have that particular logo of that any application means you can add that okay if in, in your device if you have that logo means you can add now i don't have so that's why i am going to use any logo here okay, for example take open the same okay i'm giving a logo see how realistic that you guys will look at the end this is a logo and i'm giving a text here for example guys this is the menu bar okay menu bar break down and i want to add some uh, like uh, what you can see like cart icon Yes, if you want to add means you have to copy from where because here we can't get okay in this application means in this tool or in this tool we can't get like if it gets more widgets compared to there okay see in comes to here in uh balsamic here you can get that cart option see that cart you can see a card or if you want to add favorite you can see a favorite star whatever you want you can get in balsamic okay but when it comes to azure you have to copy and paste this okay in azure we can't search that we can't get as well 
you have to copy from where and you have to paste. Okay, and profile one. I want profile for example. Yes. The same as it is, I prepare, uh, for example, mm -hmm. any products, product images. This is how we can see. Here also you can see the alignments, guys. See the blue line, and you can see the alignment, the size, everything. Then we draw Uh, no, I want to add some text. Okay, now for actual text, I am taking label once again. Okay, same as it is, I'm giving product name called ABC and uh, that price may be ten dollars. Okay, the same copying. Okay, it may be changed, guys, but I'm giving the same. It may be changed for you. And you can see the alignment. See, if I go left or right, it will give the blue line the alignment. And I want to, I can directly add from add to the cut from here only. A cut option. And from directly here also, I can buy you know, without going to the cart page. I give him an option. Buy now. Buy now. This is a sample home page, guys. And they prepared sample home page. Now, next page, I am going to prepare like a Card page and you get me in a card page. I am copying the same. I will copy all card page. Okay, I am giving name. For example, in card only I can see about two. Okay, I added only about two. Can keep down. And here you can give the name of card. Which card. I want to read color the font please. You can color, you can bold and you can Races and I said here I want to use radio button. The radio button is there. Here. Okay, you can choose that radio button. Okay, double click and you can remove. Okay, I give one radio button. Now I want to give one button called. Proceed to 
if it's composite to pay, it will redirect to the like oh, uh, payment page. Okay, now I am preparing a payment page for you guys. Hmm. Copy, paste, I will rename to the payment page. payment page now i'm going to take radio button like i'm giving options like uh, cash on delivery or double click packing cards or upi Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or you can give um, net banking. Okay. I'm given some options. Okay. I can select any one option and if I click on proceed to pay or pay now. Okay. If I click on pay now, it will Redirects to the third part. For example, if you are uh, paying for or uh, paying through UPA means okay, we can't show here in screens and pages for the third parties, guys. Okay, that are third party we can't show that. Just we can show here like this. Until the application we can show. Okay, until the application we can show. Yeah, out of that we can't go through that. Just we can say that. Okay, this is the page. If you click on cash on delivery, you can click and. If you click on pay now, your order will be placed. Okay, once your order is placed, you will see the pop up message, right? Uh, order means uh, your payment successfully completed. Right, you can see that a pop up message called payment successfully completed. You want to see that payment successfully completed pop up message. How you can show in your application in this by using this Azure means there is a pop up message. How you can create means see, guys. I'm adding a page here, how to add a page. Okay, right click here. And there is an option called add. You can see if you want sibling page after or folder. Folder means you are creating another folder. Or if you want a child page of the main page or sibling page before. These two are same. Sibling page before and after. And the child page means if I want child page now. For example, I'm showing if I click on pay now, a pop up message I want to see, like uh, successfully payment done. So that's why I'm creating a child page of this one. Okay, if you want to add the same in the similar in the sibling page of this, means right click and after page after. Okay, it will come after that because this is child, the child pages all comes under the main page, guys. Okay, under the main, this is the child page of this page. Okay, and I want, uh, I don't want this, so that's why you will delete it. Okay, if you want add this, and you can delete, no worries. And I'm copying the same guy, select all, and I'm pasting here. See, now what I want to do, select all, okay, select all. In right side, you can see the properties here. Okay, in properties come down, the opacity, you can see the opacity, reduce that to the 10. See, the all message means the text will be blurred, guys. Okay, all messages are um, blurred. And you can delete this one, I don't want. And again, take one message input like double click. successfully uh, like uh, payment payment completed or some message 
Yeah, you can change this uh, color. Delete okay. Double click and you can change the font color as well. You can bold. complete okay again i am taking one button here okay if i click okay it will redirect to the same back it is like this i prepared some five pages okay this are a sample okay just a sample prepared five pages now i will show you how to create a link Okay, there in Balsamic, you saw how to create a link. Here, slide differ, guys. Okay, if you want to create a link, if I click on submit button, it should be redirect to the home page. Right. So that's why I'm selecting submit button. See, right side, there is an option called create a link. Right. Click on create a link. Where it should be redirect? It should be redirect to the home page. So by taking home page. link as created. The link has created. Then again, I came to home page now. In home page, if I click on cart button, okay, cart option, it should be redirected to the cart page form. Okay, I'm showing cart page here. And uh, from directly here also, I can buy now. If I click on buy now, it will be redirected to the payment page directly. From here, it should be it can be redirected to the payment page. And it comes to card page. In card page, I don't want this pay no option. For example, I'm selecting more options and I giving place here. Okay, from here, if I click on logo, it should be redirected to the home page, for example, form. Okay. And if I click on proceed to pay, it should be redirected to the payment page. Okay, and I'm coming to payment page. In payment page, if I click on logo, it should be redirected to the home page form. Okay, and when it comes to pay now, I will select out of anyone. And if I click on pay now, it should be display for me a successfully message called successfully payment completed. Then if I click on OK, and it again should be redirected to the payment page form. Again, it will go to the payment page. Okay, like the sample I created only one, two, three, four, five pages, guys. Like this, you have to prepare when based on the application, it will be goes around hundreds of pages. Okay, uh, sir, one question. Um, so uh, here we are showing only the positive flow. Can we show mm -hmm. the negative flow as well? Like if uh, we enter wrong user id and password then click on submit and then user will be redirected to the other page something like that yeah yeah, yeah. see what happens that are back end now. what you said now mm -hmm. okay that's uh, the if for example here uh, i can see i can give a link that's all here it should be redirected to the for example if you click here it should be redirected to the one page i can show until that forget a password okay. for, there is a forget a password right if i click here it will display one page Enter your mail ID and mail ID. That's all. Until that, I can show. If so wrong, click, yeah. incorrect flow, we are not showing. The alternative flow. What you are asking, alternative flow. If they right. forget that password, if they click that alternative button, means they enter mail, until that, I can show. Okay, mm -hmm. if they enter the button, it will redirect to the OTP, redirect to the mail. Here, I can't show that. That are the back end. Okay, the developers will work on that. Okay, because in my current organization, when we have mm -hmm. UI US design, mm -hmm. that uh, that time they are showing it like uh, yeah yeah when that, user enters the mm -hmm. wrong ID or password and click on submit, they have yeah. another that are yeah that are uh, means uh, the pro mockups. They are, I already said that the UI US team they will work on the prototypes. Okay, mainly okay. they will work on the prototypes. Where as a BA, we won't work on the prototypes. Okay, just so, we will help them. We will guide them. How the page will redirect? Where should be it should be redirect? If you click on this button, this where should be redirect to the which but which page? 
like the B vitis. Okay. Okay. So here, as a BA, we will show the positive flow itself. Exactly, positive flow. Negative flow. Okay. So we can we can suggest means we will suggest them that's all. But here okay. by using this tool, we can't show that the negative flow. Okay, got it. Okay. The UA okay. UX team they can build means they will use some advanced tools. When UA UX team they use an advanced tools with the front end. Okay, they will use the front end aspect. They using some data as well. SQL database based on that. Okay, they can use that. They will use some codes, script, JavaScript using that condition. You know, right? They will use some scripts. Okay, okay, okay. We in that uh, they can show you. Okay, okay, this is only the screens. Okay, most welcome. This is only screens and pages. Guys, as a BA, we will use this mockups for screens and pages. Okay, how the pages looks like. Okay, guys, I know I created some pages. Now I want to like uh, give a presentation for uh, stakeholder how the screens and pages on navigation the based on the navigation okay there is an option here see preview or f5 you can press f5 or preview button click on this button okay. and then it will redirect me one page for you see how the page this looks like for example here there i can't give a input here text input there i can give like user ID, for example, user ID maybe one and password I'm giving. Okay, and if I click on submit button, see it will redirect to the home page. Okay, in home page, if I want to buy now directly from here, means if I click here, it will redirect to the payment button. Okay, I don't want another alternative flow will be there. Alternative flow again. I can go to the card page from here. I can select one or two. How much you want? If I want to, to buy two, means see, I can select here. But when it comes to balsamic, there I can't show like this to select these buttons, radio buttons. Okay, I selected two. I want to buy two. Okay, and proceed to pay. When it comes to proceed to pay, here payment page. If you are using card, but card or you pay until here, I can show. Okay, based on this application. Okay, if you are using cards or you pay that are back end, okay, guys, and we can't show the third party applications. Okay, just we can show it till here. Okay, if you click the AP, they will link that AP and right? they will use that. If I click by using UPI anything, if I use okay, here guys, and one this one advantage here means by using this UPI uh this radio button, it will uh select both. Uh, both the I can't deselect it. Okay, otherwise you can use a check a checklist. Okay, by using checklist you can uh, you can use checklist as well by using uh, any by example you pay. If I click on pay now, like this you can see successfully payment completed. Again I click on okay. Again it will come back. I want to go for home page means again I can click over. This, like this, there are a lot many pages you will come because if you click on profile, for example, if you click on a profile, in profile, there are a lot many options for you. Like uh, edit your profile. You can see there your uh, account details, your account details. Like there are a lot many options comes under your profile. Like that each and every feature, each and every pages as a BA, we have to consider and we have to show them. Okay, guys, more than hundreds, guys, more than hundreds yeah, pages will come and then based on the application. But it, it is a very small application, is uh, minimum you will prepare 25 to 30 pages or 50 pages will be there. The most these are all based on the client requirements as well as the projects, guys. The skins and pages will be increases for you. Guys, clear? As you. And here you can, okay, you can, uh, I already said, you can print all pages, means directly you can print or you can export all images to the, means all these uh, uh, pages, what we prepared to the images. And there is an option here, backup setting base. You can backup your, uh, if you are not saving if any cause, you okay, click on close button. Okay, there is an option for backups for you. You can recur, you recover your backup files and you can save and you can forward the same file to document to your stakeholder and they can access 
if they have Azure in their system, they can access access means access this file. Okay, they can open and they can edit work on this file. Okay, you can save and save as all you can see here. Yes. And there are a lot many options, guys. Once you keep on, this is uh, it, it's enough, guys. Okay, as a PA, it's enough for us. Please clear. Have any doubts? Yes, sir, it's clear. Oh, okay, clear right about uh, this. All we completed. The file submit. Okay, this is uh, is the record sessions what I recorded. I will give you for you. Okay, and you guys can get this. So they will mail us.